this is Carla Bush and welcome to another Minnesota Banking Minute. Today I'll be chatting with Alyssa Pugh from Conetrix about the FFIEC's new AIO booklet published on June 30th. Alyssa, what does the FFIEC mean by architecture, infrastructure, and operations? Oh, that is a great question. So the FFIEC's new AIO booklet replaced the existing operations booklet. So right off the bat, we're getting this idea of a multifaceted relationship between those three. While you can always go to the booklet for the official definitions, I would like to simplify things a bit and just say that architecture is about strategy. What do you want to accomplish? Infrastructure is about systems and equipment. So what resources do you need to get there? And operations is about processes. So how do you plan to accomplish your goals? Each of these elements really work together to ensure the success of not only the IT function within a bank, but for the business as a whole. Are there any new themes or points of emphasis in this booklet that we haven't seen before? Okay. Yes and no. A lot of the themes are very familiar. They're just put into a modern context. The booklet makes literally hundreds of references to other guidance, but there are some definite points of emphasis. If I had to pick a few of my favorites, one, I would say that there is a significant increased emphasis on cloud computing. The booklet really dives into topics around shared responsibilities and cloud service provider risk management. Moving services to the cloud is a big strategic decision, but it's also one that comes with significant security and technical implications if not handled properly. The set, second big topic I'd like to talk about is shadow IT or unauthorized assets. So each device or application used for business is another entry point for vulnerabilities and unless they are identified and secured shadow IT can introduce significant risk. And along with these previous two points, there is a big emphasis being placed on data management. In essence, do you know what data you have, where does it live, and is it secure? Do you have any recommendations on how bankers should prepare for these new updates and future exams? Absolutely. As with a lot of guidance, the AIO booklet runs it back with some good foundational cybersecurity principles. For example, you want to make sure that you perform excellent uh, vendor management for your cloud service providers. This starts with knowing who your cloud service providers are, performing adequate due diligence, and making sure that your contracts clearly define who is responsible for what. Shadow IT, for example, has become a prevalent topic over the last year as so many of us have shifted operations to working remotely. You need to know what unauthorized devices and applications your people are using. An example I always like to fall back to is video conferencing apps. In 2020, a lot of these apps became household names. And because we were working from home, they became business names overnight as well. Did we take time to do our due diligence on those applications before use? Well, I would hope so, because this is all part of data management, right? Are you starting to see all those connections there? Video files, chat logs, shared attachments, all of those things are data which belong to your bank, and they may contain sensitive, if not confidential, information. So you need to know where those things are stored and who has access to them. So in short, the booklet and its examination procedures really reinforce a lot of the things we already know and should be doing. Uh, it definitely comes with its own set of challenges because it's designed for an industry that's facing forward, um, but I'm sure we'll be working through all the interpretations for a while. But at the end of the day, AIO is all about making sure our technology is in a place that it can meet the strategic and business objectives of our banks. Thank you so much, Alyssa. You gave us a lot to think about. And thank you all for joining us. Make sure you check out MBA's YouTube page where you'll find many more informative videos just like this one.